you're looking at something that doesn't quite fit any category we've seen before. It's not a robot dog. It's not a humanoid. It's something in between, something bigger. This is D1, also known as D Infinite, and it might just be the first robot in the world that can rebuild itself. Yep, it can literally transform its own body to match whatever mission it's given. Think of it like Lego, but alive. So here's the crazy part. D1 isn't one robot, it's a whole system. Built by Direct Drive Tech in Beijing, this thing runs on what they call a system-level co-architecture. Every module, and from its wheels to its legs, speaks the same language. You can snap two D1 units together, mix and match wheel legs with leg legs, or even chain multiple robots into a single machine that moves like a living swarm. They call it all-domain splicing, and honestly, it's like watching robotics evolve right in front of you. Picture this, you're out in the field. One D1 is rolling on wheels like a scout vehicle. Another walks in on four legs carrying supplies. And then, boom, they connect. The legs reconfigure, wheels align, and suddenly you've got a hybrid crawler that can handle mud, slopes, or debris. No tools, no human hands, no rebuilding, just transformation. It's as if each robot knows exactly what role to play like ants forming a bridge or birds changing formation mid-flight. And this isn't just a flashy gimmick either. D1's got serious muscle. In its four-wheel crawl mode, it can carry up to 100 kilograms. That's heavier than most delivery bots on the market. When it's standing on legs, it still handles around 80 kilos with full stability. And the endurance? Over 5 hours of continuous runtime with a range that stretches beyond 25 kilometers on a single charge. For a transforming modular robot, that's wild. This means it's not just for show, it's built for real world tasks. Inspection, logistics, rescue, even outdoor patrols. But what gives D1 its spark is the intelligence behind it. It's powered by advanced AI that helps it see, sense, and decide how to move, when to merge, and what form fits best for the situation. At China's embodied AI robot games in Wuxi, people didn't just see a robot. They saw a glimpse of what future machines might become. Not single-purpose tools, but adaptive, cooperative beings that can work together like a team of mechanical organisms. It's hard not to think of Transformers or sci-fi movies when you see it move, but this time, it's real. Direct Drive Tech is calling D1 a new step in embodied intelligence. That's just a fancy way of saying, this robot doesn't just think, it acts with a body that can evolve. So whether it's rolling, walking, or fusing with its twin to become something completely new, D1 is proof that robotics has officially entered its modular age. And here's the thought that keeps me up. If one D1 can transform on its own, imagine what happens when 10 of them start working together. This Chinese modular robot can transform. Meet D1. Not a concept. Not a movie. A real machine that just might redefine what a robot is.